Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Code Slice to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at how to move an object using the arrows that we find on our keyboard. <laughs> um, yes, so sometimes, you know, um, when we write the game or various um, program, we might want to use our keyboard, namely our arrow keys. So in this tutorial, you'll learn how to use these arrows. Of course, there are many methods in how to go about this, but I'm going to show you one of the methods. Yes, anyway, um, without any further delay, let's look at what we have here. So what we have here, it's a simple code. Uh, it's a square. Um, so if I run this, uh, let me just run, 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 run. Yes, as, uh, as you can see, what you see, there's a red square here. A small red square I um, mean this is this represents our player which is our player object so now suppose we want to move this rectangle or this player whenever we press the arrow keys how do we go about this um, all right so I'll show you how to go about it okay it's not closing all right maybe we can start by fixing that as well uh, okay so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is, so from, I'm going to import my local modules from game. Locals import, all right. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to import um, the, the key, the keys which I want to use. Um, so in this case, we want to use our arrow keys, um, so which is our key up okay and our arrow down key which is key down uh, we also want to use uh, key left so the left arrow key right okay and we also we need to also fix um, our app not closing so maybe we can use our uh, key escape close the app uh, of course we will need to also use key down so when is a key pressed all right and then we we'll also need to use quit uh, okay I don't know what I did there <laughs> uh, quit all right so we have our keys which we're going to use our up arrow down arrow left arrow right arrow our escape button to close the, the app nicely when we press the close button. Um, Alright, of course we haven't done anything with these keys. So the first thing is let's just work on closing the app. So for event in Pygame event get Okay, so what is this event? If event uh, type, it's a key down. And which key is pressed? If uh, if event event let's say we press the escape key so what do we want to happen we want the program to stop running so running false okay event type quit running to false okay let's check this out let's run the code okay it's running so now when we close you right but we, we will use the escape button at the keyboard all right amazing so it closed it worked well all right um so now going on to how to move the 
player or the object using the arrows how do we go about that so we need to create or define a function here uh, and it's going to be an update function which is going to be updated um, whenever basically we press um, the the keys all right um, yeah so let's so press Pressed key. So which key? Which key did we press? Pressed keys. All right. Which keys did we press? All right. Um, yeah. So now this is where now we need to um, define like uh, sort of like the motions that will be taking place. By how much will the object be moving when we press the keys and stuff? Um, so let's go on and, and do this. So if pressed. Keys, right so which key did we press so in this case suppose the key that we press is the key up key uh, okay I don't know what happened there all right so what do we want to happen what we want to happen is um, self direct so we want the player to move right and where do we want it to move to we want it to move to the right. No, no, up, right, it's up, yeah. So we want it to move up by one, um, yeah, by one unit. Okay, so we can do this for all the keys, basically. So let's go on and copy that. Paste, paste, paste. Oh, it's okay. So our second key we're gonna use is our key down. So we want to change, of course, the direction. So it's going to be minus one. Um, all right. And then let's work on our uh, key left. So which means now we are dealing with our um, x values, not our y values. And left. So to the other side. OK, and then key right so once again the x value changes okay yeah so now we have um, this function so whenever if the key up uh, button is pressed the arrow up what happens is that uh, the object will move upwards upwards so this is the x this is the y value so the y value will be updated by one so meaning the object will move by one unit up okay yes uh, likewise with other buttons all right so but we have defined this function however how do we call this function so how do you do so uh, so number one um, so pressed key uh, pressed key so meaning which key did we press, basically? Uh, the keys that are pressed, sorry, there's an S here, right? Yeah, pressed keys, yeah, there we go. So which key did we press? So whenever we press the key, we need to get that key, right? So, uh, by game, dot, key, dot get, pressed all right so when that key is pressed uh, we capture it and of course we have to call our update function so pi game update pressed keys all right so let's go on and run this Oh, okay, there's an error here. What did I do? Uh, Pi game up to... Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, silly me, silly me. Look at me being a silly billy. Uh, not Pi game, the player, right? So it's from the player class. Player, right? Yeah, so player. 
Okay, let's go ahead and run that. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to press the left, uh, the right arrow. As you can see, it's moving. All right. Um, up arrow. Whoa, wait. I mix, I mix things here. Uh, so when I press the down arrow, it goes up. Uh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Um, so let me just... Yeah, so up one and down like this. Yeah, let's go on and run this. It's supposed to be the other way around. Okay, so right key, right key, right key, right key, down key, down key, down key, up key, uh, left key. As you can see, this is how you do it. Of course, maybe you want to, you might want to move the object a bit quicker. Um, so how you're gonna go about this is you can just increase this value here, maybe uh, to three. All right, so we wanted to move. Um, okay, a bit faster. Let's go in and run that. Okay, wow, well, as you can see, it's much quicker, All right? Much, much quicker. And that is how you move an object using the arrow keys. Yeah, and from Code Slice, um, that's it. So remember to subscribe um, to this channel. I appreciate your support. And do let me know in the comment section what kind of tutorials are you looking forward to. And from me, goodbye.